Do you consider yourself patient? Yes. Well, personally, I'm not that patient at all, even since I was a little girl. And I bet some of you guys were that little kid that during the road trip would ask over and over again, are we there yet? Like a thousand times. And it is like pretty normal for us to be impatient. It's like a human thing. And we have to learn how to deal with it as we grow up because maybe in life it'll bring us some trouble, but not only in normal life, but in spiritual life. Because when we are gonna pray or we're gonna ask God for something and we don't get the answer that we're expecting at the time we wanted it to be, um, our hopes and faith will crush down. And that is not how it's supposed to be. Because sometimes God takes his time answering our prayers and that may not be so easy for us to understand. And that was the situation for Zachariah, who was a priest whom the angel Gabriel appeared to in the tabernacle in the temple in Jerusalem. And Gabriel told Zachariah, do not be afraid, Zachariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son and you are to call him John. But Zechariah was probably asked God for a child like years before. So he had trouble understanding and realizing this because Elizabeth was well beyond expected age for childbirth. But still, God answered his prayer. God's memory is perfect. He cannot only remember our prayers for years, but for generations beyond our lifetime. Sometimes, well, he never forgets our prayers, but he made move long after we first brought our request to him. Sometimes his answer is no, sometimes maybe, but his answer is always measured with love. God's ways are beyond us, but we can trust that they're good. Zechariah learned this. He asked for a son, but God not only gave him that, his son would grow up to be that very prophet who would announce the arrival of the Messiah. Zechariah's experience demonstrates the vital truth that should also encourage us as we pray. God's timing is really our own, but it's always worth waiting for. Now let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear God, thank you because you're always there to listen to us and we can trust in that. But sometimes we forget to be patient and to trust in you. We wanna ask you for help so you can help us to remember that you always have the best intentions for us and we can trust in that. Please help us to be patient and to trust in you no matter what. In your name we pray, amen.